In this video we're going to go through the process of fitting a next topology surface to a contrived laser scan of a hull form. We'll bring in the laser scan, cut some sections uh, in, in point form and then we'll go through the process of fitting curved the laser scan. Uh, we'll build up a surface and check the quality of that surface. So starting the process we'll begin by bringing a laser data set into the design environment. Uh, this data set consists of 50,000 points and it's already been prepared for use. Presence it's showing a box because we haven't generated a visualization yet. And there we go. Uh, that's a visualization of around 100,000 points. When we start to fit the curves we will use all of the points so this is just really just a subset. So we'll start by sectioning the data so we can see some of its contours. I'm going to create a section of the transom. And we shall see we've captured some points and we've also got some rectangles that kind of give us a map of that shape. And there we can just see the points associated with that section. Similarly, we'll also capture the center line in the same way. So you can see now we're starting to build up kind of the contours of the, the laser scan without having to draw any curves. We're just, just chopping planar sections and capturing the curves between. Now we want to kind of capture all the rest of the sections. And we can do this quite simply by translating that transom along the length of the vessel and it will then update its shape uh, to the shape of the, the cloud at that point. So we use the array tool to generate multiple versions of that and now each of those sections will get regenerated. So at this stage we need to digitize the center line of the vessel. It's a challenging shape to fit automatically with the fitting algorithm, so we'll have to do this through digitization. And we can just snap to the points that are on that, that centerline section. And if we need to pick up a pick a point, pick up a particular point, we can zoom in and snap to them. Using the constraints we've added a blend and now we'll now get the rest of the curve to interpolate the data points that we've put in. So there we have a center line. Next we'll do the deck line and because this isn't a plane it's also quite challenging so again we'll have to digitize this if it was a planar shape, we could have fitted the curve to it. So we're kind of picking up every three sections and just working along the top of the whole form. So the curve is not interpolating the points at this stage, but when we go back and update it and add the constraints, it will add that effect in. So in 3D we missed, missed a point, uh, we'll just drag that onto the point at the end and snap it on like so. So we'll make that a cubic spline to interpolate all the points. So as far as digitization goes, that's pretty much all the curves that we're going to do. The rest will be picked up through intersection and fitting. So we'll first start with the transom. We'll select the point cloud that we want to use and we can see that we've got a load of samples and a load of control points have been fitted. We can see the curvature. Uh, we should be able to see the deviation in a moment too. 
So we select six points. And we can see how that curve varies, but the mean deviation is six millimeters, 14 millimeters is the maximum deviation. But we're getting a smoother curve. So we can now go through the process of fitting the rest of the shape to the cloud. And we're going to use the intersection and fitting tools. We draw an inclined plane and we can see that we've captured points and fitted a curve. We're going to work with 10 points. Uh, it makes it slightly easier to fare if we want to. We can have a look at the curvature. Uh, looking at the deviation, we've got an accuracy, mean accuracy of a millimeter, maximum deviation of four millimeters. So it's a pretty, pretty tight design, a pretty tight fit. And now we can see the deviation being indicated on every sample point. If you find a kind of a, an obvious waviness like that, it generally means that the mathematical kind of coefficients that have been chosen is not exactly right. And it's worth perhaps playing around with the definition to find the number of points that's going to fit that surface exactly. So having chosen 10 points, we'll keep those across all of the whole form. Uh, means that we've got consistency of the definition in terms of the mathematics. Um, and we should end up with a, a, a fair surface. We're not going to get discontinuity due to the, the parametric kind of variations between each curve. So now we're on to the final curve. Now we can see that going in there. I think we're going to reselect that one. It didn't exactly go or subdivide the end section. And that's quick. You know, that's the whole point of the reviewing tool at this stage is to check uh, and validate the geometry before you commit to it. So those are all of our diagonal curves done. What we need to do now is cross them in the other direction to get the surface shape uh, set it up right. So here we would use the spline tool. We're not fitting to the cloud anymore. We're just fitting to the curves that we had. We can run through this pretty quickly. And now create a surface. We'll add the contours. So here we'll turn on the sections and we can see the sections corres uh, corresponding to the, to the actual point cloud intersections. You can see that we've fitted fairly accurately. I'm sure there may be some locations there we see where we've diverged and that's an opportunity for us to go and pick that up. There's also an automated process for checking this, but that wasn't available when this video was recorded. So looking at the ship about in rendered form, looking at the shininess to see if we've got any unfairness. Mostly okay, but around the bow, the curves are quite close together. We should try to address that really. Uh, we could also look at the curvature, and that will highlight the problems of the bow in more detail. So, in the space of 10 minutes, we've captured the whole form there.